Well, there's no question that AI has made its way firmly into the video editing space, and it has been there for quite some time. And video editing software from beginner to professional have been adding AI tools to make your life and my life a whole lot easier. And today I want to show you how one of the premier editors in the creative space has incorporated AI into their tool set to make a great editor even better. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI and certainly assembling all of your creative work in some sort of video output is a very common thing. So unless you really love digging into complicated video editors, you want something that's simple and intuitive and that could crank out something that is good quality and get you the attention that you want on your various social platforms or wherever you're putting your video. The company Wondershare has been in the creative space for a really long time and over the years I've purchased many of their products to help me with various tasks in the video editing space. And they have a video editing solution called Filmora which is available for Mac and Windows and iOS and Android as well. It's been around for quite a while and is well liked by the video editing community. If you don't believe me on that you can do some cursory searches here on YouTube and you will see that there are a lot of people covering Filmora. And although a lot of these video editors have very similar structures and interfaces, Filmora has a lot of bags of tricks that the others don't, and they provide some of the advanced professional features that you want in your production without the need for a lot of technical expertise. As I've suggested, the feature set of Filmora is vast. It would take an entire video series to go over Filmora by itself. Just the editing capabilities. Today I want to focus on a new set of AI tools that they've added to their suite so that you can see how they work and then you can determine for yourself if you'd like to give Filmora a try. Now you can download Filmora for free and give it a try. They have a perpetual lifetime license option so that you can buy it outright and then they have further options for access to various creative assets and AI capabilities. And I want to start today by showing you their solutions to adding music to your track. So let's just start a new project here. You've had access to a stock library with Filmora for quite a while in all different categories and that's great. But now with AI you can generate your own custom track that is 100% unique to you and also copyright free because there really is no other piece like it. And that's the beauty of using AI to generate your music track. So to demonstrate some of these features we're going to put together a little video and it's going to be about the lake because I like the lake and I've done too many things on puppies and kittens. So what would be a good soundtrack for a lake video? Well, let's go over to AI Music and see how this works. So first we're going to click the audio tab up here and then click on AI Music. We click a combination of tags to define what kind of music we want. So for example, if I want to do something that's sort of pensive or sentimental on the lake, let's take a look at the options we've got. Now we can choose by mood, we can choose by theme, or we can choose by genre. Let's check out the moods. We have happy, sad, epic, sentimental, that might work. Romantic, elegant, that also might work. Let's look at theme. Romance, gaming, horror, documentary might be good. Photography might be good. Motivating and inspiring. And let's look at genre. Pop, beats, funk, electro and dance, trap, Tokyo night, pop. Okay, let's go back over here to mood and let's try something like elegant. We can add themes on top of this if we'd like. So what if we wanted elegant and nature since we are talking about a lake after all. Under the settings, we choose the music duration that we want and whether we want it to be a low tempo, normal tempo, or a high tempo, slow, medium, or fast, and then how many versions of the track do we want to produce. So in this case, we'll just leave it at three. We can do up to six. We can go all the way up to five minutes. A minute 30 is going to be fine for our purposes, and we'll leave it at the normal speed. We'll click on generate. We're going to be using some AI credits to do that. And this seems like a good time to say that, of course, these AI tools that these editors are using are there for the benefit of those people who don't have access to any other AI generative tools. For example, you don't want to spend subscription money on various voice conversion or voice cloning or music or any of that stuff. And if you can put it in here and just sort of pay as you go, it might be better for you in the long run. So all of these things are optional for you if you want these features. I'm just here to show you that they're available to you. So now we have a few versions of Elegant Nature. Let's listen. Okay. So again, these are 100% unique and generated just for us. All right, listen to the next one. So if we wanted to use any of these tracks, we can just drag it right into the timeline. And there it is. And now on top of that, we can start building our graphic elements, like, for example, the lake. 
So let's just go to stock media and do a search for lake. And we can just drag a clip right on top. And then let's drag another clip, maybe just the length of that second clip. Adding transitions is so freaking easy. We just go to transitions tab. We choose the one we want, whether we want a fade or a warp zoom or a fast wipe or whatever we want. Let's just drag it right here. We just drop it between the clips, put it exactly where we want. Preview it real quick. And then we could add another late clip if we wanted to. Drag another transition on there. Preview that. Yeah, love it. So easy. So that's way number one to use Filmora's AI tools to add music to your video track that is 100% unique to you and license and royalty free. So what's another way? Let's say you've used AI in one of these services to generate a music track and it has vocals on it. You like the vocals, but you'd like to use the music track without the vocals in various parts of your video. So what do we do? Well, we can use the new AI vocal remover in Filmora to take the voice out and give us the ability to mix the voice in and out however we'd like with the music. Let me show you how it's done. So let's get rid of this track here. And I'm just going to drag an audio track onto the timeline called Memories by the Lake. Let's listen to it for a sec so you can see what we're starting with. Okay, so we've got that AI voice on top of the music and we just want the music track. So we can right mouse click on the track itself and click on AI Vocal Remover. It'll take a minute or two, depending on the length of the clip, to do the process. So now what we've got is the original track with both the vocals and the music on it, and a track with just the vocals and a track with just the music. And then let's click play and I'll show you what we can do here. So now I can turn the vocals all the way down. turn it back up. So this gives us the flexibility to perhaps have some instrumental up to a certain point. For example, we can come here, we can slice out this part, but then we want these vocals here to join. Skipping stones, he's never gone. Especially if we could find a video of skipping stones. Let's see if we can. Yep. So we're going to move that over here because and we're going to move the skipping stones video right on top of that because that's what makes sense. And now. Skipping stones, days never gone. Or we could keep it totally instrumental all the way up to the chorus where she sings. All those days by the lake. Okay, so why don't we cut everything out before that and let's just add a few more lake clips here. I realize for the purposes of this demonstration to have 30 seconds of nothing before the chorus comes in, even with the voiceover that I'm about to add, is going to be a pretty long time. So the beauty of having all this stuff extracted like this is that I can edit out the first part and I'm just going to make the intro a little bit shorter. So I'm going to cut out the first 15 and a half seconds or so. So that the music actually starts here. Right there, I'm going to use this little controller here to fade the music in just a scope so it doesn't cut in in a weird way since I've edited it into the beginning of it. So let's just take a peek. You see what I'm going with here. So we need a little voice over here in the first 15 seconds. So why don't we use another one of the features that they've got, which is the AI copywriter. So I'm going to save this project real quick. Just call it Lake. I'm going to pop out of the main editor for a second and go to the AI copywriting section. Now again, this is an AI writing companion. If you're here in the middle of a project and you need a script and you don't have any other kind of AI writing assistant, this is what you could use. So what are you going to write? I'm going to write a video oral script or a knowledge introduction article or video chapter titles. You got your choices. I'm going to do a video oral script and the video topic is the lake is a beautiful place to live. So I'm going to click on generate. Now it writes the whole thing, including a title. It gives you music suggestions and camera angle suggestions and everything. We don't really need that. What we need is welcome to our video presentation where we take you on a virtual journey to explore the breathtaking. And I think that I don't like that, but how about this? Imagine waking up every morning to the gentle chirping of birds, etc. So that's a nice short script that's picturesque and has the mood we want. Now I'm going to open up our lake project and I've got my script right here. Let's see. And I'm in the media tab and I'm going to click on record 
and choose record voiceover. You choose the microphone you need, where you want the file saved, and whether or not you want a countdown. Trust me, you probably do. Make sure your video is recording with the little meter there and then just hit record. Imagine waking up every morning to the gentle chirping of birds and the mesmerizing view of crystal clear waters. The lake offers an idyllic setting for those seeking solace from the hustle and bustle of city life. Whether you're a nature enthusiast or not, you'll love it. So I made it up there at the end so that the speech would end before the music comes in. So now let's listen to what we've got. Imagine waking up every morning to the gentle chirping of birds and the mesmerizing down view the volume of, of the crystal music. clear waters. The lake offers an idyllic setting for those seeking solace from the hustle and bustle of city life. Whether you're a nature enthusiast or not, you'll oh, love it. Those. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut off that last line completely and I'll just start the voiceover later. So we'll have a little establishing music and then this will talk up to the chorus where she starts singing. Imagine waking up every morning to the gentle chirping of birds and the mesmerizing view of crystal clear waters. The lake offers an idyllic setting for those seeking solace from the hustle and bustle of city life. Oh, don't stay. How about we put some captions on this thing? I'm going to choose titles. I'm going to choose AI captions. And I'm going to choose speech to text. For now, I'm not going to translate it. It's the clip that I've selected here that I want. Add automatical active words. Basically, it means that it's going to pop up the words when I say them. You'll see what I'm talking about. And we'll click on OK. So now the captions have automatically been added to the timeline. Waking up every morning to the gentle chirping of birds and the mesmerizing view of crystal clear waters. Now, if you don't like that style, you can click here and choose a different style. Select all of the text clips. Choose the one you want. An idyllic setting for those seeking solace from the hustle and bustle of city life. And it'll translate to all of them. Speaking of translate, oh, what a segue. What if you want this in a different language? It happens. They've got new AI translation, and let's check it out. So again, I can right mouse click on this audio track and choose AI translation. Translation type, I want the voice and the text to translate. You start with English and translate to, let's say, French. And when you're in Filmora and you're running these AI tools for the first time, you'll notice that they let you try it for free. So let's try it for free. We're uploading the audio file now. It is translating. Okay, you can see the translated text underneath this one. Let's hide the English track for the moment. It looks like the translated track is muted, so let's unmute that and mute the original, and let's listen to what we got. Imaginez se réveiller chaque matin pour le doux, le surinement, d'oiseaux et de l'immersionnant, vu sur des eaux cristallines. Le lac offre un cadre idyllique pour ceux qui cherchent, réconfort de l'agitation et de l'agitation de la vie urbaine. Oh, don't Okay, seemed a little fast. I don't speak French, but that was my voice. I wasn't sure it was going to clone my voice, but it did. So that was me speaking French. I thought they might just add some AI voice that was trained in French. No, no, no. They translated my voice, so now I'm speaking French, and the translation is on the screen as well. Nice. Finally, let's say we wanted some graphic element that we just couldn't find in the stock media library for some reason. We want something really abstract or weird and we just can't find it anywhere. Well, of course, the magic of AI can come in and swoop in and save us there. So let's find a place in the video where it makes sense for us to generate a new image. What's happening here? Let's just see what's going on. Oh, don't stay by the lake. Have a moment. Okay, I really like these stock footages, but let's pretend we don't and we just need something better. Now, this is not going to be video. It's just going to be a still image. We'll go to stock media. We'll click on AI image. And if you've worked with any AI image editors before, you just type in the text. You use as descriptive a language as you can and then let the magic happen. We also have different styles. This is like choosing the AI model that you would use for the style you want. You can have a realistic landscape. It's a portrait picture. It's hand-drawn. It's cyberpunk. I'm going to go with realistic landscape for now since we're going to be focusing mostly on the lake and we'll see what we get when we say a man and woman sitting on a bench by a lake at sunset. His arms are around her shoulder. Let's try it free. I probably should have gone into the settings and made sure that I had the aspect ratio that I wanted, which luckily I did. We have 16 by 9. We have 9 by 16, which is the portrait, or we have a 1 by 1 square. 16 by 9 is what I wanted, so hooray for me. Oh, perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Yes. Okay, so there we've got this one right here. I'm just going to drag this on here. Golden skies and warm. 
let's put a little action on that clip since it's just sitting there. We can do all kinds of fun stuff with animation by like a fade in or a slide ride or a zoom. Or we can use some of the effects up here. Choose video effect, for example, add some More lighting to it. And then another way we can stylize these video clips is with something called LUTs. LUTs actually stands for lookup tables, but think of it as adding a filter to an image. Let's look at this one here. These folks on their paddleboard. If I go over to color and make sure this LUT is on, then from this LUT preset, I can literally just mouse over these things and see the effect, right? So it adds a whole different style to them. But to really show you how cool this is, let's get some stock media of a person's face. Woman at the lake. Yes, we have a woman at the lake. Let's choose this one here. We'll just drag it here. So actually I'm gonna drag it here. Bring the cursor over it so we can see what's going on here. So now we got a nice close up of this woman's face. Now watch what happens as I choose these LUTs. It affects the whole image, right? So it's pretty extreme on some of them. And by the way, they have a library of more if you'd like to add, you can just click on add and they've got a library right here. So for example, Game of Thrones look. So when you get the Game of Thrones, it adjusts the colors. Let's do something pretty extreme like this cyberpunk. Now that's okay, I guess, if you like that for the background, this isn't really appropriate for a nature scene, but her face is all whacked because of the color change. This is where the beauty of protect skin tones is. Check this out, slide this over, boom, skin tones are back, but the style, the LUT stays in the background. And as I go through all of these and mouse over, you'll see that the background changes, but the face and the skin tones stay intact. And of course you have slider control over that, so maybe you want a little bit of the LUT back in there, but you don't want it to completely overwhelm the skin tone. So that's a wonderful way to add some mood to your video. Now, of course, you can you can manually control all of this stuff with these sliders. And this is what I'm saying about Filmora in general. It has a lot of the advanced features that you would get in video editors that you would, and I have, paid a lot more for, or maybe have monthly subscriptions to that you don't want to pay anymore. I will tell you right now that Filmora has replaced my expensive editor as my go-to because I really don't need all the complexities of the larger program. I just want quality output. And Filmora has everything I need and way, way more, and I can crank stuff out so much faster. For example, let me just show you one tool that would normally seem advanced, but it's actually so simple, and it's tracking. So let's say we want to track this little guy walking around. We want to make sure the clip is selected. We have AI tools and then we click on motion tracking. Now we have a little rectangle that we move over the item that we want tracked. In this case, it is the duck and just click to start motion track. Let's just go to the quick text tool here. Click on this is a duck. This is a duck. We need this over the duck. We'll get it so we can actually see what it's saying. We'll go back down to this video and we'll scroll down to motion tracking and on link we will click on basic one which is that text and now when we click the play button text tracks the duck. I literally could spend hours just going through the effect section to show you the different things you can do with your videos to make them stand out and really shine and look professional, but I won't this time. I just wanted to show you these new AI tools in Filmora. If you've never tried Filmora before, I invite you to at least give it a try and give it your most professional challenges and see if it can do it. My bet is that it can and it's a lot easier than it is with the more expensive programs. If you are a fellow Filmora user and would like to validate my comments, feel free to in the comments section. And if creative AI and the tools used are of interest to you, then why not subscribe to this channel? Because these are the things we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will.